All right, guys, so before we get into the really fun Node.js stuff, I want to explain one more concept that seems to confuse a lot of people, and that is the idea of prototyping. Now, you guys are going to come across this a lot in Node.js, so I figured I might as well take a tutorial and explain the pretty much the bare bones basics of what prototyping is. So essentially, what prototyping gives you the ability to do is you can add cool methods or properties to your objects and classes. So say that we're making a game and the first thing we need in the game is a couple users. So I don't know, what's every user have? We'll say uh, like a name and a life. We'll say that they can like fight each other, whatever. So this name, we'll just set it equal to blank by default. And again, remember that this keyword refers to whatever object is calling it whatever thing is calling this so now we can actually have a bunch of different instances of user each one can have their own name so we can have a Bucky a Wendy a Tuna McGee a bunch of different users so uh, yeah there you go simple enough and we'll just give them each a life to start out of I don't know like a hundred points or a hundred life or whatever so by default we thought it was a good idea if users could give each other life. I don't know, maybe they're her or something. So we'll say that this give life equals a new function called give life. And of course you would need a target player. So for example, if my friend Wendy was hurt, I could give her a life and I don't know, if she had like 10 life, now she would have 11. If she had 17, she would have 18, whatever. So how do we do that? It's pretty easy target player life plus equal one and might as well just print something out console log I'll say uh like after I give a life to Wendy I'll say Bucky gave one life to Wendy so of course this name which would be whatever called this function which would be in this case Bucky gave one life to not game one life gave one life to target player dot name all right so whenever I give a life to Wendy it's gonna say Bucky since I called give life gave one life to the target player and of course it would increase her life by one nothing that revolutionary right there so now that we got our basic user class out of the way, let's actually go ahead and start making some users. So Bucky equals new user and var Wendy equals new user. All right, we have two users, but remember, whenever we create a new user, they don't have any name. They have a default life of 100, but their name is blank. So let's set their name right now, and that is Bucky dot name set equal to Bucky and Wendy dot name set this equal to Wendy alright so now we have two users and they both have names let me tighten that up a tidbit and check it out so we start playing the game or whatever and I decide right off the bat that I want to give um, a life to Wendy might as well she's my friend nothing else to do in this game so Bucky dot give life to Wendy alright looking pretty cool and just to verify um you know just to look at our different lives right after what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out our life so we'll say that like uh Bucky print out my life and then hers Wendy and Wendy life all right so we start playing and check it out right off the bat I give one life to Wendy my life is still a hundred and her life is 101 easy enough simple enough to understand what the heck is a prototype um still don't quite get that concept so I give this game to my boss who wants the greatest game ever and he's like you know what Bucky this is a pretty cool game however wouldn't it be cool 
if instead of just giving life to your friends because that's kind of boring wouldn't it be cool if users could actually start hurting each other because hurting people is always fun right so I'm like you know what that would be kind of cool so I'm gonna make a new function called uppercut and whenever you uppercut someone it takes three points away from them so what you can do through prototypes is this if you call user prototype right there you can actually put something called uppercut of course I'm making uppercut up you can put whatever variable name you want and you can set this equal to a new uppercut function so now target player is gonna pretty much work the same so actually let me just copy all this alright so instead of giving one to them um, let's take away how many uppercutting someone I think takes away three lives of them and then we'll say gave one life to we'll change that to just uppercutted <laughs> so what we can do is we can pretty much use prototypes to add additional methods or functions onto this user object or this user class so now every instance of this user class has access to this new cool uppercut function don't believe me well check this out I gave a life to Wendy before she for some reason hates when I give life to her maybe she just hates me I don't know so she decides to uppercut me so Wendy dot uppercut Bucky alright that wasn't very cool now let's just print out their lives again so check this out I'm gonna run this bad boy I gave one life to Wendy she got ticked off for some reason she uppercutted me it took three points away from me and she still has the life I gave her so you know she's kind of a little turd nugget but whatever so again that's one concept of prototyping what we can do is we can add special methods or properties to objects in classes in other words our user class so this was an example of adding a function and by the way if I ever say method or function um, they're pretty much the same thing in this tutorial although they technically are different I know so don't you know leave a thousand comments alright so I give this to my boss and he's like this is awesome I love uh, hurting people uppercutting is always you know humorous however I think we gotta spice this game up a little bit more we actually wanna add magic to every user so in addition to adding functions like I said you can also take that user class and through prototyping you can call if I type ugh, got the hiccups now great you can add a new property called magic and we'll set every user's magic to like 60 by default so now let me just console.log this out bucky dot magic this is gonna log out 60 for every user I just want to demonstrate that and console log Wendy dot magic so let me add a comment real quick I'll say um can add properties to all objects and I'll also say you can add uh, functions alright so let me print this out just to show you guys what it works alright so this was before and now we see whenever we print out Bucky's magic and Wendy's magic they both have 60 so there you go that is pretty much what prototyping is now the last thing you may be wondering is this alright so I know that with prototyping what you can do is you can add functions and properties to objects but why the heck would you do it this way when you can just build everything right inside here it seems like it would be a much better option doesn't really make sense right now however in the future that's what I'm gonna explain because this tutorial is already, already 10 minutes long and I'm worried about Wendy uppercutting me again so anyways for now now that you understand the basics of it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe yada yada tomato tomato see you next time